Hey, welcome back. It's Gloria. Today, I'm just going to do a really quick video on two things that we found out on our travels coming down from Nevada into uh, Arizona and something else we found out about when we got here to Arizona. On our way down from Nevada, we actually had some molding on the front of the camper come starting to flip around and fly off the, the trim on the end. Uh, we found out later on that we had some damage, some water damage from a leak. So we're going to have to work on that later. We may go over that, show you how we fix it. But what we went through to actually get this weather stripping fixed and stuck on on our way down. And it was really just a little tool that we found to use to get it back off and then to kind of like get it into place. Uh, and also when we got down here a couple days ago, we were, uh, we've actually been in Arizona for a few weeks, but a couple days ago we were brought our groceries home and we were wiping down our groceries, which we always do. I know that seems a little neurotic still, but because of me being very careful. And when we did that, we actually found out something about our uh, the CO and propane sensor that is actually built in. Ours is actually built into our dinette. So just give you a quick tip on those two things. I'll go and uh, explain what happened. And I'm only saying it because these are things that I have never seen on a video. We watch a ton like everybody else before you hit the road. So hopefully it'll help you get a few ideas or at least let you know what to do if something like this happens for you. So check it out and we'll stop back here later. All right, so here is the area I was talking about that had some damage. We know that when we got it, like I said, somebody either hit it or they got hit uh, or they hit something. So the dealer was supposed to fix it. Um, they really, we found out in the end, they didn't do anything but re this uh, weather stripping on. So what I wanted to show you was this little tool we <laughs> found that ended up working really well. When we were driving from Nevada, Vegas to making our way to Arizona, on our way down from between Vegas and Laughlin, our molding came loose. So it was flipping all over the place. So we pulled off, pulled to the side, uh, some little gas station somewhere around Vegas, pushed it all back on. So Ryan got it all tucked back in and within 10 minutes of going back on the road, it took off. It started ripping off and flying around again. So we got down into Laughlin, spent a couple days there, didn't want to do too much work because we were only there a little bit. So we decided to bust out the Gorilla Glue, glued it somewhere around here on the curve and down at the bottom there so that it wouldn't shoot off again. But when we got to Arizona, we decided trying to figure out what we we're gonna do to pull it back off because we needed to make sure the screws were not leaking, nothing was happening down there still. Um, but of course, once we pulled it all apart, it was a mess, um, really with a couple of bad screws and some leaks. So what we needed was something to get this molding back off because Gorilla Glue was holding really well. So we didn't have our X-Acto blades anymore. We used, to, you know, both being artists, we always had those around, but we didn't have any. We couldn't find our utility knife either. So what we came across was this awesome dental tool. So we were able to use this to go through here, break the glue, break the seal. And actually there were one, two, three, I think four, three or four screws that were stripped um, because of the rust and the way the wood was shifting. So we were able to use a flat end and use it to pull it out while Ryan had the drill going to get them out. Um, from there, we, like I said, we found four screws. We went ahead and redid, um, cocked them really tight, real good. A couple of them we were able to screw in, the other ones were stripped, but we went from the top and cocked on the inside and the outside, got it all back into place. And we had some rain the other day and didn't have any leaks, so we should be pretty good. But again, this thing is amazing. It's the simplest little thing. So it's thrown in our toolbox now. Um, but we will get back into, if I can, if I think about it, I'll video the shelf that's kind of right here on the inside um, that we'll replace or at least tweak it and see if we can get everything nice and clean, cleaned up. But otherwise, again, this came in really, really handy. I highly recommend uh, keeping one around. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually something that happened to us with our CO and propane tank sensor, which if ever all goes well, you never have to hear that thing. We actually heard it go off the other day. 
Uh, and let me show you really quick. Other people may have run into this, but I just want to let you know what we came across as far as what happened when this thing went off. Okay, our sensor is actually built into our dinette. It's right here, hardwired in, so it's right by our door. So we were coming in the other day and we are actually are the people who still tend to wipe off our groceries. We're trying, like I said, be real careful for me because of my sarcoids. So what we learned. So we came in and we started unloading the groceries and wiping them off like we normally do. And we learned that uh, the manual, which we read before we started living in this, but uh, the manual is saying with your detector to make sure you don't have bleach, alcohol, anything like that near it. And now we figured out why, because we started bringing our groceries in the other day, wiping them down because we actually still do that. I'm trying to be careful for me, like I said. So let me show you what happened. Well, I'm not going to make it happen, but I'll explain. So here we are bringing our groceries in. Our sensor is right here. So we're working kind of down in here. What we use at the time are these alcohol wipes. So we use these to wipe our stuff down. And again, I know a lot of people don't. We still do because we're just trying to be careful because my issue is with my lungs. And that's the last thing I want is anything to get messed up. So we're wiping these off, pulling these out, wiping off the groceries, let the wipe, as you pulled it out of the package, was right by the sensor. This thing went ballistic and started going off. We tried resetting it, like it said, and when we hit the reset button, it would just keep kind of beeping every now and then. So we went ahead, we had everything open just to make sure, went over to our panel over there, where all the breakers are, and we actually went ahead and pulled the fuse because it basically needed to reset the whole thing. So once we reset it, everything worked fine after that. Um, we were very careful. We double checked everything just to make sure there were no other leaks, but really we figured out it was because of that darn alcohol wipe. So really, and these things are pretty strong. They're pretty strong smelling. So it went ahead and it <laughs> set it off. So now we know, keep those alcohol wipes away while we're using them. Otherwise your sensor's gonna go off. So those were the two things that we came up with or ran into in our rig. Um, the little awesome dental tool to help with the trim, help to get it out, help get it back in, pull out the screws, use like a screwdriver, you're gonna apply to uh, pry those screws out while you have the drill in reverse. And also what we came up with with our CO and propane detector. So hopefully we're all set on those. Like I said, we do have some water damage in the front end of the camper. Uh, the shelf next to the bed actually kind of shifted a little bit too. So we're going to look at that and see if we can fix it. We should be able to. But these are all things that we never ran into before. Never had to think about because we've been so, so fortunate with this awesome rig. Winston's been very good to us. You know, outside of having to redo our suspension, which is a big deal, but we didn't have to do it right away. We did it later on after we hit the road. We just, unfortunately, we're in the middle of nowhere of Utah and it happened. But those two are the things I came up with that I wanted to give you guys a, a quick video on just in case it pops up for you guys or so you know to watch for it. But that sensor, that CO and propane sensor, definitely watch that for uh, keep your bleach, your al alcohol, all that stuff, that wipes away from it. Uh, that way it'll keep it from going off when it doesn't need to. So hopefully that will help. Hopefully you got it, something out of this. Please click like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to know when the next videos are coming out. I'm trying to get things moving a little bit, but with COVID being as bad as it is down here in Arizona and me having to be so careful, we're not actually getting out as much as we'd like to. We've been taking some drives, but when we get the, to the destination, the parking lots or the trails are pretty crowded, so we're just not doing it. So again, hope you stop back and we'll see what else we can come up with in the next few weeks.